dinner and a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Hey, be safe, be healthy. It's the heart that moves me. Let's go to the movies. Ah, let's go to the movies on Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, First one is Death on the Nile. Tell us about that one. Death on the Nile in theaters tomorrow, uh, February 11th. Delayed two years, Scott, due due to the pandemic, so long that one of its cast members, Army Hammer, canceled himself with some hashtag Me Too misdeeds. Anyway, Kenneth Branagh directs and stars again as Hercule Perrault, the star detective adapted from the Agatha Christie mystery novels. This is the third film version of this story, set on a cruise down the River Nile involving Perrault, wealthy heiress Lynette Gal Gadot, her newly wed husband, Hammer, a son and mother, Tom Bateman and Annette Benning, and other passengers portrayed by Jennifer Saunders, Letitia Wright, Russell Brand, yeah, the comedian, Emma McKee, and more. The story and World War I origins of Perrault are included in the story, uh, and it expands both the characters and the themes. The settings are lush, including the pyramids, the Temple of Abu Simbel, and the Nile itself. And its theme regarding the elusiveness of love is perfect for the Valentine's Day longings, in all of us, even you, Scott. I found the whole trip absorbing and the mystery sublime. Death on the Nile, four out of five, in theaters tomorrow, February 11th. All right, there we go. Death on the Nile. Good movie, good date movie, it sounds like.